Cubs make their Cactus League debut against the Oakland A's from beautiful Sloan Park in Mesa, Arizona. Mateo Grossman and Canna at the top. Seth Brown, Chad Pinder, Franklin Barreto in the middle. Uh, Fowler, Noisy, and Heim will round it out. Alec Mills, we saw him a handful of times last year at the big league level, nine times all told, including four starts. Two games canceled today. Rizzo will flip. Mills will cover, and that's the first out. There's a home plate umpire tonight, 6'7". He's the tallest umpire in the game, and Rizzo's been busy here early on. Two down. we are bat next. Another 3-2. little flinch by the umpire. Didn't get the call. And the A's have their first base runner. Often overlooked when you discuss the best managers in the game. High towering fly to right. Boy, did you jinx him? No, you did not. On the track, Jason Hayward makes a catch. Cubs coming up when we return. Chris Bryant will start the year. That's the plan as the Cubs leadoff man, followed by Anthony Rizzo, Javier Baez, Jason Hayward in the cleanup spot tonight. He's not a base clogger. He's not going to steal a bunch of bases, but he moves very well. Swing and a miss to get him. Last year, just limited work at the big league level. 2 0 with a 3.1 ADRA. Go for an opposing pitcher to start. Chop toward the middle. Yeah. Made by Barreto. No score, bottom one. 3 2 to Baez. And he walks. And his first play <laughs> appearance. You see him pump his fist. Coach Tommy Hadovy. A little later on, Jed Hoyer, the Cubs executive VP and general manager. Mark Grace will be with us in the middle innings as well. Grossman puts it away after an inning from Mesa. Nothing, nothing. Thank you, Taylor. Yeah, and the Cubs pretty much outdraw everybody in baseball here. Oh, what a play. Jason Kipnis helping the new Cubs pitcher and a former athletic, Jarrell Cotton. Jarrell uh, Cotton uh, did not pitch in 2018 coming off Tommy John surgery last year in the minor leagues. I like it. Maybe deflected off the leg of the pitcher. Baez makes the play. And the A's go quietly in the second after an inning and a half. Nothing, nothing. Right-hander Lou, don't say Lee, Trevino, four and six. No, I... Those days are gone. Contreras absolutely mashes one way out of here, and the Cubs lead one nothing. Yikes! That was a massacre. Yeah, he put both L's into that one. Absolutely obliterated that baseball. Two strikes on Kipnis. Nothing guaranteed for Jason as a non-roster invitee. This one out of the center. And a top spinner as he lines out to Fowler. You don't want the flu bug to no, no, no. go through the clubhouse. So rolled into center. That's a base hit. But yeah, with that, he's he's still gonna take all kinds yes. of grief from the players. They're yeah. just gonna be all over him for yeah. <laughs> Toward right center, that ball will get down. Bodie on his way to third. Will Venable will stop him there. It's a double for Almora. Well, I probably would, but if I were Trevino, I would try not to. Well, it was up and a base hit to left. Bodie will score. Almora on his way, and he's in. What was that about? Uh, RBI opportunities. Chris has knocked in a couple, yeah. and it's three nothing. Take advantage of them when you get them in that leadoff spot. And he did get a little bit of a sloppy breaking ball and took took advantage of it. Didn't hit it over the wall, but he played it too. A good solid base hit. And a Chicago area native, right-hander Brian Schlitter, 6'3", 238. 14 and 15. Prior to that, a little bit in 2010. 
two hopper to short one pitch and that is out number three Cubs get on the board for the first time this spring big league time last year limited 11 and two thirds innings 540 ERA a triple a three and seven with an ERA of five point ball and two strikes noisy playing third base tonight by as a weight back Low throw and Rizzo cannot handle that I guess we call it long short hop. Base hit to right. That's the A's first hit of the night. Cam on the iconic Wrigley Field center field scoreboard. The breaking ball as Contreras will pick it up. He'll throw it a second and he got him. That's a nice play by Contreras. He did really not have a play on Noisy heading to third, so instead he gets the trail runner. Yeah, just a great read. Tommy Hottaby about it, or, or Jed Hoyer a little later. Swing and a miss. Big strikeout, two down. Especially behind the count. When you, when you have the cutter and the slider and the curveball and all these different pitches that you don't have to, to give into in, in fastball counts. And once he started commanding those, it definitely set the tone for his ability to throw any pitch at any time. When they're younger, and not physically, I mean just in, in their willingness <laughs> to make the adjustments. Like, yeah. like you get a veteran pitcher who's had some, uh oh, this is not going to end well. Um, Carlos Aswahe, pinch running at first base, takes off on the 3 2, called. Third to get Souza. Cubs do not score, but they lead the Athletics 3 0. Came to camp with the Cubs a few years back and subsequently uh, let go. You know, came over the Rockies and had to for the numbers. Hmm. What percentage of our viewers at home are keeping score of this? Game? Runner goes, swing and a miss. So an out at the plate, a stolen base. Third base, act short, is it short? Names we have talked about in spring training's past. Call strike three, two down. Don't overestimate <laughs> what happens in spring training. I mean, it, it does feel like we kind of recalibrate expectations every spring, don't we? Yeah, you know what? Um, as much as I love watching games in, in February, I, I try to remind myself every spring. Yeah, you are not. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be ball four. First and second with nobody out. Um, it's going to be a battle. You know, I think that uh, you know, there, there, there's some divisions that are uh, a little bit more top heavy, have some, uh, have a few more rebuilding teams. I think we have the Pirates that are you know, definitely building for a better future right now. You know, do these guys have a bunch of good left hand hitters? If they do, we have to make sure we get a lefty up. And um, that's, where, that's where options really are really important. Um, you don't want to have a, a landlocked bullpen where you can't make those kind of moves uh, within a conventional wisdom has been that that's going to be a, a versatile player on the bench. But I think in a lot of ways it allows us to do some other things. Well, throw they'll get the out at third. Another run is in. It's five nothing. You can have a you know a specialist. You can have a a, a great pinch hitter. In that um, you know we're all guilty of it. You know uh, you know as we build teams you want strikeouts and. I understand why you know it, it, you know we want that we w want to provide that uh, for our team but if I was holding somebody on or if I'm playing in and I would tell the, the guy on first you can go ahead and steal second anytime you want because because I'd like to back up but Daryl Strawberry comes uh, to mind yeah, yeah. Daryl Strawberry undressed me a few times That's not an easy answer right um, but, but you know, I don't know what your thoughts are you know, how you would like to try to tweak it That'll get in there for a base hit. First and third with two outs. Well, once again, uh, guys, it would have been better that. for us yeah. to do. Swing and a miss. That will do it for the A's, who strand a couple. Donuts on the way. Five nothing. for me. Cubs. <laughs> can thank Gracie later. I, I I told him when he retired. I did a I did a, a little segment for him on the big screen at uh, Wrigley. Take us away here, Len. A Swahe into the corner. That is a fair ball, and he will drop anchor at second base. Lead off double. Taylor McGregor has a question. 
First and second, nobody out. First pitch swing. And a throw a little bit off the mark. Hey, Cubs fans, join the Cubs season ticket holder waiting list today to claim like your one. Stump. Uh, I was. That's oh. in the right. A run will score. And it's 6 0. Cubs offense looking awfully good. Yeah, but it opens up a lot of windows for you as a pitcher. And that's Maybe exactly cover, what he yeah. did. Looks like he got him on a changeup for out number two. Now working for the home team. The tribe last year, one and one with a 440. And the, the guys who are sent out who are pitchers to the minor leagues, it'll be 15, not 10 days. On a rost roster manipulation, is that ball knocked down by a Suahe, but it'll be a base hit? How do you say, Eugenio Suarez? Yep. And now there's trouble. <laughs> right Where's that left now you're looking pitching. at a big inning, exactly. That's a fair ball into the corner in left. Eric Campbell with a double. That ball's going to have some mud on it because of the <laughs> rain a little earlier. I think there's a really good chance. At here, and it's also going to present some opportunities late in games for dangerous hitters. The A's will get their first run as the Cubs get the out with the infield back. It's six to one. So you, know, you bring a lefty in instead of 18. 24. Yeah. Base hit. Barreto makes it six to two. But you can see. The, the two right handed hitters that Olsen has faced have hit the ball very hard. That ball hit hard but caught. And it'll be two to end the frame. Just the way you draw it up, right, Jim? That's it, man. A 4 3 double play. 6 2 Cubs lead. They'll bat in the sixth. Floats one out in the left center. Short with a good read on it. On his way to third. Well, that's good base running right there, wasn't it? Great read. Never hesitated. Well, J.D. and I get to watch Javier Baez every day, and the, the, the best part of his base running. Base hit. Seven to two. As Short will cross the dish. And on the throw to third. Late. Another nice piece of base running. And look at the trail runner getting to second base there. That's what happens. That'll get in for a base hit. <laughs> what a thing of beauty. Eight to two. See, nothing wrong with a lousy single mm -hmm. with a couple of guys out there in scoring position. He walked his last time up. Oh, he dear. Just got punked to load the bases. Uh, that was a that was a hard matchup for me. The lefties that stayed in and, and weren't looking to jerk the ball. Yeah, well, because most of the time, most of the time, and you know, even though Jim wasn't a, a guy that threw 95 miles an hour, I still considered Jim Deshays a quote-unquote power pitcher. Because go time for the base runners with two gone, and he walked him. It's nine to two. That'll be it for Hart. Here comes Bob Melvin, Taylor McGregor, Len Casper with you tonight. Find strike three, it's dropped. And that will end the inning. So we head off to the sixth. The right hander, and you see what he did with the Blue Jays last year. Tell you what, after that meeting, that was three fastballs, no chance. Mm -hmm. Well, I think he, I think he's one of those high spin rate. Hey, you got him. That was a rude changeup right there. Good. Swing. Mm -hmm. yes. Hello. Well, we've got another month or so to break down the division, and we will do it as we move along. Nine two. Stretch time. I've asked JD this question of, you know, in the past if you could have any piece of you know, analytics to take back to your 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 playing career what would it be and I'm hunching or yeah. he's looking for something and he just he that, made a pitch on me. That's exactly right. Way up in the air. Wow. Somebody will get it. 
Gracie, what a pleasure. What a pleasure, yeah, guys. We're going to have a lot Thank of fun you, this year. I appreciate it, Jamie. Love you, man. Gracie, the best box sooner, but you'll see you have a, a larger space to work in and hopefully a few more creature comforts. Can it play a swat? Oh, to short. They got him. What a mm. play. Yeah. Yeah. For <laughs> 6 3 action. <laughs> well, uh, Little globe trotters, two up, sweet Georgia yeah, miles per hour uh, machinery here in, in Arizona. Nor do we, uh, nor do we have the the pitch uh, framing, um, you know, the, the box. So all that stuff's coming, uh, and will be part of our regular broadcast as well an extended pre and post game and some of catching uh, in the system right now, which is really wonderful. That is a roller in the left. Yeah, Maya considered one of the better catching prospects in the game. Likely will spend. And he got him. Now we're a little bit in between. Oh, no, I already <laughs> erased my score sheet. <laughs> that one hey, out in the goes. deep left. It is gone. That is a three-run homer for Trent Jimbroni. JD is in regular season form. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mentioned that he was up last time he was up. But good power numbers last year. Who <laughs> worked here tonight? <laughs> we got busy talking to Gracie. That yeah, was wonderful. You know, and you two guys talk the game. Crane, again, congratulations. Oh, Thank you for everything. Well done, sir. Have a fun 2020. Good job. Looking forward to it. 49 in the third innings of 529 ERA last year. And uh, makes it to the big leagues. And he got him. Swinging for the out. Our life is frittered away by details. Simplify. <laughs> Simplify as Thoreau makes the final oh, out. You are ready. The final score in the Cactus League opener. The Chicago Cubs 12. That's where you want it, right? The Oakland A's 2.